Okay, so uh, again, I'm Faye, and uh, I am also regional ambassador of Faith Matters, just like <laughs> Okay, so um, if you're not yet familiar with Youth Matters, so Youth Matters is an international consortium of university level student um, organizations with uh, local chapters in universities of private schools. And now we have um, more than 5,000 university, university student mappers in 370 campuses in 72 countries. And um, as part of the Youth Matters team, we're uh, responding to different efforts, such as disasters, poverty, and so on. And one of the things that uh, we did uh, last February was to um, support the different activities for um, the disaster relief efforts in our Turkey. And Youth Matters, through the different local chapters across the world, uh, provided support by conducting marathons virtually and face-to-face. Um, -face. And also to um, help uh, in information dissemination. So we um, posted in social media the different efforts of the different communities um, responding to uh, the disaster. And um, OSM, of course, is it's open, and a lot of open data has been av available for us to be able to create projects that can support this application. And a lot of micro -map mapping projects, like in the tasking manager in MapperLit has been opened so that uh, we mappers, students, volunteers could support this effort. So one um one thing we did was to open a lot of projects in the tasking manager and also um these projects are set up with Mapped AI or the rapid editor and this allows you to add AI generated um, buildings and loads so that um we mappers could validate or invalidate the, the data set from Rapid. And uh, aside from the rapid editor, we also had um, data coming from different uh, imagery providers like a planet, and they shared their uh, imageries post disaster, and then we were able to map the buildings that were damaged or flat during those times. And aside from those, um, drone images also were collected by different NGOs, such as a health NGO. And these were uploaded at open aerial map that could be used by the different maps. As well as street level imagery uploaded to Mapillary um, to help validate the damaged buildings in the area. And so this is the um, some of the points that were mapped by the volunteers that uh, indicate the damaged and collapsed buildings in open sea. Open sea. So so just to show you the animated um, efforts of the buildings um, contributed by, by the mappers uh, in different parts of Turkey. So this is it. So around 1 million buildings uh, were contributed to OpenSeaMap by over thousands of mappers around the world. So in just a few days, a lot of efforts or contributions were added to the map data. And as you can see, um, because of this effort, uh, a spike uh, in the um, UN audit each day, is, it's a repository of uh, open data set. So we can see that there was a spike in downloads for OSM low data in Turkey as of February 10, just a few days after the disaster happened. And a lot of um, organizations have been using OSM data after this uh, response activities as part of their uh, disaster response efforts and also for um, different analysis uh, related to the uh, earthquake. And of course, the successes were first. It, uh, this disasters allows um, community global um, collaboration, for example, Meta, Open Seat Map, um, UMAPTAR, Open Seat Map Team, Youth Mappers, MSF, etc. And that resources are shared uh, and made easily available in just a few days. Um, the imageries were given to us for free, and then we were able to use it for different mapping efforts. And then over 1 million buildings were edited or added to OSM data, including mapping the damaged and collapsed buildings. And also over 40 map 40 mapathons were conducted by also youth mappers chapters and other uh, humanitarian organizations, and around 8,000 contributors were, um, who contributed to the map data. But um, just like any other, uh, 
any organizations, we also encounter different challenges when you're uh, doing the activation. So first is when we were mapping with uh, the rapid editor or the, with AI detected buildings, not all areas have AI detected buildings and works. So some parts of uh, Syria doesn't have any uh, data set on that. So that's uh, a challenge for us. And then the quality of the AI generated and data decreases in the urban areas. And um, with the tasking manager, not is not really optimized for users with a very internet weak internet connection. So that uh, causes a problem. And with the growing OSM users, um, we should also recognize that there's an unequal ratio of beginner to advanced users. So yeah, if you want to help, you can go to the tasking manager. There are uh, uh, remaining tasks that uh, need to be validated. So you can check uh, out that. So yeah. Special thanks to uh, the chapters who uh, contributed to this presentation as well and to the uh, organizations who also are part of this um, effort. So thank you. Bye.